So what happens in the group accounts when the parent buys more shares in the subsidiary? And the answer is not a lot because the fact that it's a subsidiary already means that we've got control. And if we buy more shares, you don't get more control because you already had control. What you're doing is you're reducing the non-controlling interest. You're buying out the non-controlling interest. You're making a further cash outflow. And the consequences of that is NCI goes down. Goodwill remains the same. It was a sub. It's still a sub. But NCI has gone down and there will be a difference arising. Not a profit, not a loss, but a difference that arises in the group accounts. And it's a difference, not a profit, not a loss, because the transaction has arisen between the parent and the NCI. So it's a transaction between group equity. It's a transaction within group equity. So, for example, if we've got a 90% sub and we're, and we're buying another 6%, we've made a further investment, we've got cash going out. And six tenths of the NCI balance is disappearing. So we will juxta juxtapose, <laughs> we will contrast the cash that we've spent the investment with six tenths of the NCI balance that we are reducing the NCI balance with. And the difference will be a positive or negative figure that goes directly to equity. It won't be a profit or a loss. Now, if how much we pay the investment is bigger than reducing the NCI, then that difference is negative because effectively we've overpaid. If we're paying a small amount of money out and we are getting rid of a larger number, six tenths of the NCI balance, um, then that will be a positive figure. So that's what happens when we buy out the NCI. If we were to sell to the NCI, the concepts are very, very similar in that if we've got a 90% sub and we sell them 10%, then it's still a sub. It was a sub. It's still a sub. There's no change in the goodwill. There's no group profit or loss. There's a difference arising. Only this time we've got cash coming in. And we're increasing the NCI because we've sold them 10% of the net assets or 10% of the net assets and the full goodwill. And so we're juxtaposing the proceeds with what we've sold them. And if the cash in this time is a bigger number, the difference is positive. And if the cash in this time is a smaller number than what we've sold them, then we haven't done very well. It's a negative that will go directly to equity. Control to control transactions. Transactions within equity, changes in the NCI, do not result in profits or losses. Thank you very much.